So we got one person join. We about to wait. Let this shit get litty. Let all the people come in. You say hello? You say hello to your live viewers? Huh? Who's Laura? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -mm. We're just going to wait for this to get a little bit more jumping. Right? Because that's what we do. You got what? A good what? Maybe like two, 200 followers or something like that? And your fucking stepmom got me fucking livid. That's another motherfucking bitch I'm going to handle in a minute. You, you press for a fucking Instagram and you mean to tell me in five fucking minutes all you got is one fucking viewer? Wow. Yo te hablo mañana y yo no abuso de tu confianza. Yo soy mujer y madre y jamás te fallaré, pero yo voy donde ti mañana frente de tu nena y si hablamos. Get the fuck out of here. She come. Let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, okay. So we got another little viewer. That's cute. You won't wait to them? You won't wait to them? Why not? Wave. Is your motherfucking live? Wave. Wave. Oh, you got another viewer. You got two viewers now. Cute. So y'all probably on here wondering who the fuck I am, right? Well, I'm Elizabeth's mom, and Elizabeth is in no shape, way, or form allowed to have any type of fucking phone, any type of social media, and I just came across it. So, you allowed to have social media? Huh? Take, 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 take your hand out your, take, take your hand out your face. 
You 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 allowed to be having social media? Huh? No. But you on here, right? Cursing up a motherfucking storm. Like that's something I fucking teach your ass. Like this shit some type of fucking cute game, right? Talking about some boot up and your fucking messages back and forth to all these little kids as if that's something I fucking teach you. You don't you, you, you don't wash your motherfucking drawers. Shit be on there with shit and poop. Just literally wash them. So I'm trying to understand. Can you help me understand? Can you can you give me to be having social media? Huh? No. But you on here, right? Cursing up a motherfucking storm like that's something I fucking teach your ass. Like this shit some type of fucking cute game, right? Talking about some boot up and your fucking messages back and forth to all these little kids as if that's something I fucking teach you. You don't you, you, you don't wash your motherfucking drawers. Shit be on there with shit and poop. Just literally wash them. So I'm trying to understand. Can you help me understand? Can you can you give me a probable cause as to why you're doing the shit you're doing? Cause me and seven other people trying to figure it out. You know? She don't know. So this page is gonna get shut the fuck down because she ain't to have no fucking social media. Those are my rules. Until the age that she can go get a motherfucking job, help me with motherfucking rent, and learn how to wash her motherfucking drawers and don't come back to me shitty or pissed, then that's the day that she can go get a motherfucking phone herself because this one she stole off of a family fucking member. Okay? And then she went and created this little motherfucking account. So that shit in front that she trying to put the fuck on for y'all, that shit is all a fucking fake. Anything else you want to tell them? You sure? Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again to hit you with another video. Now, I want to wish all of you all a good TGIF. And for those who don't know what TGIF means yet, that means, thank God, it's Friday. And for those who don't believe in God, to all my atheists out there, I want to wish you all IMIF. That means, uh, I'm glad it's Friday. Anyway, now, thank you to my subscribers and also my family, because I call them my family, also because there's no way. You should be over here if we're not family yet. And if you're sitting back in the in the uh, bushes waiting for your boy to slip up, go and exit on now because I am not going to slip up. Anyway, now we have a very unfortunate story. And this is a prime example of what a bad parent is. Now, what a bad parent it is, if you got to ask what's a bad parent, chances are, don't get mad at me. You are a bad parent. But if you know what I'm talking about, Clap your hands right now. Don't clap it too loud. We don't want to wake everybody up. Y'all at your job and everything. Just clap under the desk. Anyway, now we have uh, a mom. I'm not sure if she's fit to be called a mom. I don't want to just say mammy yet. So I will say that for later on because some people get kind of offensive for some reason when I call them. Like I see them. I mean, if it's a duck and they quack like a duck, what is it? It got to be Daffy or Donald Duck. It's a damn duck. Anyway, now... This woman decide to expose her child. It's just like it's been a new trend with over the last few years since we had a certain thing called Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, uh, World Star, all kinds of live activity, Twitter Live, anywhere they can post bullshit on it, they're going to post it. Yes, Snapchat, all that. And you, we have stories and seen stories. I have done quite a few stories of parents like the guy, the dad from Louisiana, decide to shave his daughter hair ball, like shave his daughter hair ball. They had another one beating the hell out of his child all on live. And you wonder why people look at you the way they do. Now, whether you think your child 
deserves to be punished or not. That's up to you. But when you bring it to the forefront, when you bring it to the public, the public have something to say. That's why you keep your business in your house. If you don't want nobody to know your business outside of your house, because you got to talk plain to some people, because they swear you, they swear to God that you're speaking Chinese mixed with Mandarin at the same time. But if you bring your business outside to the public, the public have a right to do what? A certain thing that starts with a C called critique. We have a right to critique because if not, we don't even know what goes on. But this woman sits here, and I'm not even going to get on the little apartment house, whatever the hell they in. I don't know what city this is. Y'all let me know what city this is. Is this New York or is it B-more? What the hell else? I don't think it's Los Angeles. But anyway, shame on the mama for coming at her daughter like that. She basically sat up here. And the same thing I've been telling you all. You all just think it's been a game, but you must forgot. Hell, I had a little sister. I got little cousins and stuff. And we know, you know, some of the girls nasty now. Some of them, some of them nasty. But, but, mamas, question yourself now. If your daughter still ain't wiping herself cleanly, I'm trying to say this as good as possible. So bear with me now. Bear with me. I'm just a man. I'm just a man doing all that I can. Anyway, if your daughter has not learned how to properly wipe herself by the time she get 13, 14, 15 year old, just like in the case of this 13 year old hell. Some of you all 25, 30, 40 years old and still got them streaks in there and everything and still can't learn to wipe your ass right. So don't get mad at the child, but to my real, real women out there, you guys too, while y'all laughing at the women. But if you have a daughter and you so quote unquote concerned about your daughter that you're willing to put her out there on social media in front of everybody, you know, and I edit the video because I didn't want to show the child face. She already done suffer enough of a whooping like the guy said that was in the wheelchair on life. Pick him up. He done suffer enough of a beating. Anyway, if your child do not know how to wipe her ass by now, chances are, mom, you have not showed your child. But this is what we have in this day and age. We have a lot of bitter ass parents that mad that they have to be a parent. And the reason why this girl do not have a cell phone of her own, because later it came out that the child stole the cell phone from another family member, which is wrong. It's dead wrong for her to steal. But guess what? What child that you know that's not 13, some of them hell seven, eight years old got cell phones. Now, what they do with those cell phones, that's for you to monitor, but that's a different story. But this child stole somebody else, some other family member cell phone, and then decided to create an Instagram live account. Now, she was on there basically doing the same thing her mom was doing, cussing up a storm. And her mom said, I did not raise you this mother effing, this guy way. I'm like, how are you going to sit up here and say that you didn't raise her this way when you sit up here cussing just like she's cussing? The apple don't fall too far from the tree. And it's going to make some of you all mad. But if it's mad, if it makes you mad, excuse me, change your ways, period. Stop trying to make the kids look bad. Because you're making yourself look bad. Because people looking at you and they looking at that ragged ass apartment. Like, how are you going to have a mattress on the floor? Let's get on you, mama. Since you want to talk about your daughter draws uh, is filled with poo and piss. Talking about, I just got through washing the drawers. And all of a sudden, it's filled with poo and piss. And the girl just sitting over there just so embarrassed. You know, and I felt sorry for this child. Now, you're wrong, you're wrong. But she didn't go out there and get pregnant. Not saying that wasn't going to happen later on, but I'm not no psychic. She didn't go out there and rob no bank. She just stole a damn phone to create an account and wasn't supposed to be online. Like her mom said, fine, I understand. She violated the rules. She was wrong. But for the mom to go overboard and do this, mom, you even more wrong than your own child. But let's look around this ragged ass apartment because the reason why she said her child can't have a cell phone is because when she's old enough to get a job and help me pay these bills, pay these bills? Trick, what you mean help pay these bills? You made us. What you mean, pay these bills? So I got to be in, in, in debt to you? I got to be in servant to, to you because you ain't handling your business right? You got mattress all on the damn floor. And no offense to my people out there who watching the Trey King show and got their mattress on the floor. Any other YouTube, whatever you want to watch. You know what I'm saying? But it's the way you carry yourself. It's not what you do. It's what you do, how you do, whatever you do. You feel me? So be mindful that if you want to put somebody on blast like a snake, if you want to sit up here and try to expose people, make sure your shit is in order. If your house is not in order, which is not because you got curtains, you got sheets hanging up. You got bedroom sheets hanging up. And it's 2019, damn it. It's not 1990, 1985 and stuff, 1975, 65, where it was cool to have them sheets up and everything. Y'all remember the old sheets? And also, do you remember those beads they used to have back in the gap? It's hard to find them. You know, you might see them in a lot of uh little uh Jamaican shops and stuff, African shops. We had a little bees that 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 acts like a curtain, if you will. And it made that little rattle sound you open up. She don't even got that hang up. She got a damn sheet. 
nailed to the damn uh other room to separate with a mattress right there on the floor. So you're going to have nerd up to talk about your daughter. Mom, you should be out working, making some damn money so you can uh help your child have a better future. Still, you tell your child when you get old enough to help me pay these bills, then you can have a cell phone. That is very wrong. But to sit up here and tell your own child that she don't know how to wipe her ass. Mom, it's your job as a woman. And y'all women, I know y'all disagree with me sometimes. And everything to some of you all is uh, a person has mental illness. So does the mom have mental illness? She has some kind of mental illness. But just because certain people of certain colors do things does not mean you all have to say every time this person have a mental illness. But then when it be another race of person, oh, the hell with them. That's what they do. We can't be like that. We can't be like that now. We can't be like that. You got to be balanced now. That's what this channel is built on. You want the bullshit, you go over to the other channels. But here, we at least try to be balanced. No, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. But everything is not mental illness. Some folks are full of shit. Just like she was talking about how, how full of shit her daughter draws was, which is very wrong. You're talking, you, I mean, it's some things that you just don't say about a woman or a girl. You feel me? You know, you all built different of it. You would say that about a boy. Boy would be like, I don't give a damn shit. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was something you guys do. Some of the guys ain't wipe, ain't wipe their ass right now. I'm talking to right now. It's cool. You're a man. Just go in there and clean up clean up yourself before you go out and put me on nobody smelling that. But to my women, y'all let me know. That's why I did a poll yesterday asking, you know, because I like to get your all opinions first, you know. I don't like to just run and just jump off the damn ship. You wind up like them people over there on the Titanic. Anyway. That's why I made a poll and I asked people, how do you feel about parenting, parents disciplining their children or exposing their children online? And most of you all say it is wrong. And for those of you all, I totally agree. You know what I'm saying? Unless my child got a gun to my head and it's just over with. I don't give a damn about you trying to kill me. Then I'm going to go all the way. But over some little stuff like this, family member, you stole the family member's phone. Guess what? Get, the, get her and that family member together. Give her to get the phone back. Apologize. Move forward. You know, if she's not wiping herself, mom, you take your ass in the bathroom and show her how to wipe herself. When I first seen the video, I thought it was one of these damn YouTubers. I know, I, saw, I know they ain't what you call them. I ain't going to say her name because I don't want to put it out there and start some war and shit. But anyway, I said, I know they ain't what you call them. And stuff. I said, no, they can't be her. But if your child, your daughter, not your son, not your son, if your daughter do not know how to wipe properly, because I don't know, you know what I'm saying, if it's the, if do you wipe front or do you wipe back? I don't even know. You ain't got to even say it in the comment section. But... If she ain't wiping herself properly, take care of her hygiene right. Mom, it's your job as a woman, as your daughter, mom, to get in there, drop down, get your ego on, and show this girl how to properly clean herself. You all let me know what you think about this. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Most definitely share this video with your family and friends who love to expose their children when their house not even in order. And as parents... Set the example. You have to accept the example first. You can't sit up here and cuss like a damn drunken pirate like you aren't there on the Caribbean with Johnny Depp and sit up here and tell your child, I ain't raised you like that. I ain't raised you to use all that cuss word and every other word she used is a cuss word. Like, damn, you know, and the poor girl, I mean, I just hope and pray that this little girl can make it. You know, she'll stop stealing. But just because she stole that cell phone, a family member's cell phone, does not give the mom the right to put her on blast in front of the whole world. And the mom sitting up there entertaining children. If you want to do that, which it was wrong, but hey, you her mom. You know what I'm saying? If you still want to do that, why not speak your piece? If you still want to say she got her underwear filled with poo and piss, say that and get offline. But you want to sit up here and put your hair up in front of the kids and stuff. And some little boy, some little guy coming there trying to holler at you and stuff. Instead of you just hanging up and saying what you got to say, but you want to entertain this foolishness. So therefore, it's it's, it's not far-fetched to think that your child wants the same thing because evidently, mom, you like social media also. You know what I'm saying? Social media is not bad. It's how you use it that makes it good or bad. Y'all let me know what you all think in the comment section. And like I told you all, for my women out there, for the men too, make sure your woman handling her job. Make, the, make sure they're handling their job. If your child, your daughter don't know how to wipe their ass good, mom, woman it's your job stepmom whoever to go in there and show that child how to wipe her ass for guys if the boy don't know how to wipe his ass that good you know someone don't be in a rush someone don't even give a damn it's cool your boy but still guys go in there and show them to do this it's just overboard and it shows that you really <laughs> hate being this child parent and you want this child to pay for her cost of living and stuff because you ain't got your business together you got sheets hanging up like they curtains and you got mattress all on the floor Clean that damn apartment up, then try to expose somebody else. Anyway, y'all take care. I'm out.